Foxy's hiding today, everyone. It's OK, Ozzy. There isn't really a crocodile. It's just in the story. You don't need to hide. <laughs> Come on, Ozzy. In the book, Here Comes the Crocodile, we're going to find lots and lots and lots of ED endings. And they are words that happened in the past. We've learnt about them at school. So listen out for them in the story. Sometimes they're hard to hear because some of the words that end with an ed sound like they're ending with a t. Some of the words that end with an ed sound like they're ending with a d sound. And some words that end with ed, when we spell them, sound like they're ending with an id. But they're all spelt with an ed. So, have a think. If today I sniff, yesterday I sniffed. Sounds like a t, but it's an ed ending. It puts it into the past. So I might snap my fingers today, but yesterday I snapped my fingers. Sounded like a t, doesn't, didn't it? Snapped, but it's an ed ending. Today I might whip my cream. Yesterday I whipped my cream. Let's have a look at these ones that sound like a d sound at the end. In the book, the crocodile snarled, snarled, and something quivered, quivered. That means something shook in the book, something quivered. And you might hear the word growled, growled. Oh, I wonder what's going to growl in the book. Mm. And this one that sounded like it was an id at the end. You might have to sound this out with me. It's a long word. Ready? D e d e d feet defeat id defeated. Spell e d, but it sounded like id defeated. That means when something beats you, you're defeated. I wonder if something's going to beat crocodile. Whether he'll be defeated by anything in the story? Should we go and find out? Here comes the crocodile. Ozzy's hiding again. By Catherine White. Illustrated by Michael Terry. No need to hide, Ozzy. Come on. <gasps> Maybe there is a need to hide. Look at the size of those footprints. Here comes the crocodile. It was hot in the deep green jungle when crocodile leapt from the river. He sniffed. Oh, ED ending. And snarled. ED ending. Growled. ED ending. And snapped. ED ending. The jungle shook and quivered. His long tail whipped as he scuttled along. I want food to make me strong. Brown monkey came swinging down to crocodile's hungry delight. Crocodile snatched poor monkey's tail and monkey screeched in fright. <laughs> oh, crocodile, don't you eat me or your sharp teeth will wobble and you'll drop. You'll go skinny and sag like a crocodile bag and your great jaws will dribble and flop. I'm made of sickly chocolate, monkey chattered with glee. I knew that, said Crocodile, creeping away. You're too small a snack for me. I think Monkey's just successfully managed to trick Crocodile, hasn't he? Clever Monkey. Crocodile felt hungrier than ever when he spied through his big beady eyes two flamingos dancing together. Now here's a tasty surprise. Crocodile sneaked through the water with a hungry glint in his eye. Two treats I see, as pink as can be. I'll snatch them before they fly. The flamingos chuckled and fluffed. Why, don't even take one lick. We're both made of sugary candy floss and we're bound to make you quite sick. You'd howl and you'd yowl and you'd grimace. You'd swell and you'd tumble and roll. I knew that, said Crocodile, lying. I, I, I've only come out for a stroll. They've tricked him, haven't they? 
crocodile marched off defeated. Oh, there's that one that sounded like an id, but it was an ed ending, defeated, with a gurgling hole in his tummy. He spotted an elephant drinking. Elephant dinner, yummy! Into the water he slithered. Sounded like a duck, but it was an ed, he slithered. As swift as a snake in the grass. And when he got to where Elephant was, he leapt up as quick as a flash. Oh, Crocodile, don't eat me or your jaws will jangle and lock. For it's quite clear to see you can't eat me for tea because I am a solid grey rock. I knew that, said Crocodile, blushing. You're a boulder as big as can be. I'm just out for a walk, no time to talk, as I'm meeting a dear friend for tea. Has Elephant tricked Crocodile too? He must be very hungry by now. Watch out, Zebra. Then Crocodile spied a zebra, grazing lazily out on the plain. His tummy rumbled, gurgled and grumbled, hungry for food again. Crocodile crept through the grass, as silent as he could be. I'll sneak up behind him quickly and gobble up Zebra for tea. Oh, Crocodile, don't you eat me or you'll turn spotty and pink from dark green. You'll splutter and sneeze and have wobbly knees, said Zebra, polite and serene. But you're only a zebra, said Crocodile. You're only a bright, stripy horse. Ah, but my black stripes are very hot pepper and my white stripes are salt, of course. Do you believe Zebra? Oh, boo-hoo! Yelled Crocodile, shedding big tears. I feel like I haven't eaten in years. He blubbered and bawled and wallowed and squalled. He rolled on his back, which looked very funny, then wailed and hollered, I want my mummy! Don't worry, said kindly young zebra. You can share all my grass with me. The two pink, pink flamingos brought treats to share with monkeys bananas for tea. And I brought some clear, cool water said Elephant, trumping a spray. And Crocodile grinned with his big, sharp teeth and said, What a wonderful day! It was hot in the deep green jungle as the animals played by a tree. When Tiger leapt out from behind them, growling, I'm ready for tea! <gasps> Do you think they'll manage to trick Tiger too? Oh, I hope so. Otherwise, there might be no animals left in the story. <gasps> Whatever next. So, Crocodile wanted to eat all the other animals, didn't he, in the story? Can you remember who he wanted to eat? He wanted to eat Monkey, didn't he? And I remember he tried to eat Flamingo and Zebra. There was someone else too, I bet you remember. Anyway, they kept tricking him, didn't they, and pretending that they tasted like sweet candy floss or, or sticky chocolate and that they would make him poorly. Well, let's have a think about what we eat. What do you like eating? We try to eat some healthy foods, don't we? We try to eat a balanced diet. So, I like broccoli. I like salmon. I like jacket potato. I like peas and carrots. I've made my little plate of dinner. I wonder if you, maybe you could have a go at designing a healthy plate of dinner. Think about what you like eating. Well, crocodiles do eat meat. They do eat other animals. But in that story, he got defeated, didn't he? Well, really, he should eat other animals because that's what we call a food chain. Have a look on the board. A food chain is where, like, for example, crocodile eats monkey, monkey eats banana. Well, in this one, we've got you human and the human might eat a chicken and a chicken might eat a worm and a worm might eat a leaf so this is a food chain 
And really, crocodiles are allowed to eat other animals because that's part of the food chain. I wonder what you'll put on your healthy plate today. Mmm. See you.